How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to go over two different ways to set up your brother laser printer hooked up to your Wi-Fi network. The first way is going to be the easiest way to do it and the second way is going to be more painful. But between these two ways I'm confident you will be able to get your printer hooked up to your Wi-Fi network. Specifically in this video we're going to be working on an HL2280DW. However this method will work for other models such as the HLL2390, the DC CPL2550 DW and a lot more models and probably all of the models that have a two line LCD screen. There's a lot of overlapping technology with these printers. So hopefully this video will help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get this printer set up with some Wi-Fi. The first way we're going to set this up, you're going to need physical access to your wireless router and the methods called WPS or wireless protected setup. We're going to activate WPS on our router, activate WPS on this printer. Then they're going to find each other and they're going to connect. You don't have to type in any passwords. It's a temporary search with both devices to get them linked up on the printer. You're going to want to make sure the printer is plugged in turned on then we're going to hit menu we're going to go arrow down to network and then you're going to hit okay we're going to go arrow down wlan we're going to hit okay we're going to arrow down to wps dash a o s s we're going to hit okay and then it says to start wps slash a o s s on your wireless access point slash router then press OK. You're gonna have to get your router. It depends on your specific router, but for mine, I have a button on the side that says WPS. I'm gonna hold that button down and my power button starts to blink. That means my router is in WPS mode. Putting your router in WPS mode may vary slightly. For instance, if you have an Orbi mesh router, it's a sync button. It doesn't say WPS that you have to hold. Uh, check with your router's manual to see how to access WPS. Now we're going to press OK on the printer. The router is already in WPS mode. Now the printer is in WPS mode. So they're going to link together and hopefully get connected. This can take 20, 30 seconds, so just be patient. A few moments later. Now it says connecting WPS. A few moments later. And we are connected. It's going to print some network settings for us. The WLAN report says connection okay. It tells you your network name and some other information about the connection. The connection was successful. This printer now is on our wireless network. If you aren't able to set it up this way, we're gonna go to method number two. Now we're gonna set it up the longer pain in the butt method by actually typing in the password using the keys on this little two line screen. If you weren't able to set it up with the first method, hopefully this will get you going. Make sure your printer is plugged in turned on, then you're going to hit this menu button and go down to network, hit okay. We're going to go down to WLAN, hit okay. We're gonna go down to setup wizard and hit okay. It says WLAN enable, we're gonna press up, turn it on, and now it's going to start searching for SSIDs, which are available networks that it can find and then it will list the network names. This may take 10 to 15 seconds, so just be patient. A few moments later. Okay, so now it's listing a network name, but this isn't my network, so I'm going to cycle down. That's not my network either. So each one is a network that it's picking up, and those first two are not my network. I'm gonna cycle down again. That's not my network. That's not my network. That's not my network. Eight foot ceilings is my network. Now that I've found my network, I'm going to hit okay. Now it's asking for network key. In order to type this in, you have to use your keys over here up and down and cycle through all of these characters. If you go up, you go through the symbols, the numbers, and then it gets you to uppercase. If you cycled down, it'll get you to some symbols and then you'll get into lowercase. Uh, you're gonna have to type your password in exactly correct lowercase, uppercase, numbers, symbols, spaces. You're gonna type it in perfectly, otherwise it's not gonna work. Our network key is year of the pig, all lowercase. So I'm going to type it in here real quick. I'm gonna go Y, okay. And then once I hit okay, 
it kind of stars out the first letter and then it gets to your second letter, which is E. If you at any time make a mistake, you can hit this clear button that will bring you back one character and then you can type in the correct one if you accidentally inputted the wrong one. So bear with me while I put this in really quick or maybe pause the video while you enter yours in. Our network's actually Year of the Ox. It's not Year of the Pig. I forgot that we changed it. And then once you type in that last character, hit OK. Once it's completely typed in, press OK. It says Apply Settings. You're going to hit OK one more time. And now it says Connecting to WLAN. It's sending that password to your router and saying, hey, can I connect? And it got connected. If it fails to connect, you probably typed in your password wrong and you're gonna have to do the process all over again. It prints out this WLAN report with your SSID and some more information. Those are the two ways to set this printer up with your Wi-Fi network. Hopefully out of those two, you are now good to go. I do have some videos specifically about printing on iOS and Android for this printer. So if you are interested in those, links to them will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.